Jack Silverstein is a journalist with the Chicago Daily Law Bulletin. Any subscribers? <laughs> Covering Illinois law schools and interesting attorneys. And, and really, you should check out his columns. They're free some of the time. You should check it out. Maybe subscribe. Save journalism. <laughs> He'll tell you stories if you want, but for now, Jack, all we want is for you to tell us how do you do. Get this bottom. So uh, when I heard we were doing how do you do, I, my interpretation was how do you do X, as in like teach a skill. And my favorite thing about being a reporter is doing interviews because you get to talk to strangers and hear all sorts of cool shit. So these are three tips on how to conduct a good, great, on how to conduct a good interview. Number one, you got to know what your end product is. Are you doing a, a news story, a feature story, a profile? Are you doing an oral history? Are you doing something for a general audience like a newspaper or a magazine? Or are you doing something for a private audience like friends and family? Are you doing something for like, you know, private contracted, like, you know, like a private client? You got to know that because that's going to inform the way that you ask questions Boom. and what questions you ask. <laughs> so that's number one. Number two, you got to let your subject inform your story. People always talk about you don't want to ask uh, closed questions. You, you want to ask some open-end questions, no yes or no stuff, but that's true. But you also want to just give people an opportunity to tell you their story. I always, at the end of any interview, I say, so what haven't I asked you? What do you need to tell me so that I know what to talk about and what to write and what do the readers need to know? If you do that, you're going to get material that you never knew you needed. So that's number two. Number three, try to make people feel comfortable. Whenever possible, I ask the subject, hey, where do you want to meet? And you know, their office, their home, whatever. Even so, even if you can't do that, smile, laugh, be a human, say things that are fun, connect with them, find some sort of common interest to establish trust. For instance, we're in Chicago here. I figure there are a lot of sports fans. If there are sports fans, maybe you're into Jordan Pippen. I thought maybe some great Jordan Pippen highlights would make you feel comfortable to hear the things that I'm saying. Go Bulls! Yeah.